Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2014, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for everything related to live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. Well, continuing our coverage of NAB 2014, we are back here at the Sound Devices booth. You know we love Sound Devices products and have done videos on them before. And I'm with here again with Paul Isaacs uh, from Sound Devices. He's got two new products that we think are actually three. three new products that are actually very awesome. And we wanted to have Paul tell you a little bit about them because we think that they really are something that is very, very um, probably not exclusive to the church market, but it's really going to be something that a lot of you guys can use out there. So, Paul, take it away. Okay, thanks very much. So, yeah, I'd like to introduce you to three new products that um, we're introducing this NAB and are all available this month. Um, so, first, I'd like to introduce you to the flagship video deck in our product range, the 270i. Now, this is a very high-performance, robust, reliable, and quality video audio recorder. It can handle um, SDI, 3G SDI and HDMI inputs and record HD video to edit ready ProRes or DNX HD files. And it can rec record up to 64 channels of audio along with those files. So this is great for huge um, live event setups, um, complex um, uh, infrastructures where there's feeds coming from everywhere. So some of the key features of this product that I'd like to go over are um, the ability to, to scale the system. So although a 270 can exist as a single unit and record one video channel with 64 video audio channels, we can actually add further video channels by virtue of daisy chaining via Ethernet. And when you daisy chain other units, you can add more video channels. So this is a, a scalable system and a very cost-effective way of doing it. So perhaps you just start off with two cameras and but further down the line, you need to add more cameras so we can gradually expand the system. The other really important thing about the 270 is it can record to four drives simultaneously. So that means you have instant copies available for delivery at the end of a, of a shoot. This is such a huge time saver, especially when you're dealing with terabytes of data. Um, but also, the multi-drive capability allows you to provide ready-made backups. You know, so if there's a, a faulty drive, you've always got another one. So these, the 270 is ideal, especially in mission critical applications where you just can't afford to lose data. Another important aspect of that is we've added what we, we call, uh, well, it's a redundant power supply. On the, on the rear of this unit, you can see there's two DC inputs. So if one dies, it will seamlessly switch over to the other and power from that. Also, if both of those power supplies were to die, there's an inbuilt UPS. So if all power goes, the machine will shut down recording intelligently and close down the files and you won't lose any data. On top of that, we also have file header saving as well. So your files are constantly updated in the event of power supply. So for mission critical applications, this is like the perfect video deck. Um, so we have 64 audio channels. Let's have a look at some of the connectivity. Obviously we have the SDI in and SDI out, 3G, and we can handle up to 12-bit video for really high quality applications. We handle from ProRes 4444 all the way down to proxy and DNX HD 220 all the way down to DNX proxy as well. Um, the, uh, the audio connectivity is it's just vast. We have 64 channels of MADI IO. MADI is a very common, it's been around for decades, but it's a multi-channel interface that is a, a, proliferates throughout the, the industry. 64 channels of MADI there, very reliable. It's on either optical or coaxial. We have Dante, which is audio over IP. That's 64 channels of Dante from any device sitting on a Dante network. It's really low latency. It's really gathering pace, the whole Dante. It's becoming like the audio over IP protocol of, of today. Right, and it just shows up on the Dante network just right away. It's, you can just pull off. I can come into my audio menu and see any Dante device on that network, choose which channel I want to pull into the audio track and just record it there and then. It's really simple, very fast. The device has a built-in web server. So we can basically, it's called PixNet, and it means we can remotely control a, a unit from anywhere in the world. It's all done over IP. But we can actually also 
group multiple units and this is a really key feature and as, as I said um, we can add multiple groups and daisy chain them via Ethernet and fr frame accurately put them into record and then play back frame accurately what do I mean by that is well if you've hit record it's going to start on exactly the same frame time code and video exactly and when you play it back it's, they're literally going to be dead in sync. Now, that's really important for presentation, for playback presentation. So churches that have uh, multiple campuses and are doing more than one shot that they want to send to another campus, they can link, uh, they can link the machines together, and in the other, when they play them back, they'll play back just like they were recorded. Sync, yeah, so if you've got multiple camera angles you want to play at once, or even you've, you've created this huge multi-screen image which is split up and blended across multiple screens like a video wall, you can do that with this by virtue of the fact that it's frame accurate. Um, so that's a, an overview of the key features of the 270. I mean, it does a lot of other stuff like RS-422 control, and there's GPIO control on there, and you can do file transfer over Ethernet. Obviously, you can transfer files just by delivering the caddies, and we have four simultaneous copies, remember. The, the, inside the unit, there's two drives. The other two drives are on the rear panel. We have ESAR to P connections there. We've got various accessories where you can mount two caddies from the front. Um, it's like a, a little rat half, half rack enclosure where you can plug in a couple more drives. But you can pretty much connect almost any eSATA-P external enclosure into the rear there. You may prefer to go with our approved list on our website because we've tested those, but other drives would work too. Now you also have a unit that's in the same family, but it's a little less money. And we'll get back to we'll get back to the pricing in a minute. But what's the, what's the other unit that's that's compatible? So we were just talking about the 270i there. The 250i, which is down here, it's fully compatible. It has all the same um, edit ready ProRes DNX HD same file format RS 42. But the difference is, I it's just we've just dropped the chat audio channel count down to 16. We've removed the Dante and the Maddy and we've removed the redundant power supply and it can only record to two drives at once instead of four. So they're the primary differences, but that still is a very powerful video deck that would satisfy a huge range of applications. So we did that to just present some of those more cost effective to those applications which didn't need all of that extra flexibility. Now what are the, what are the price points and when are these shipping? Okay, so the price points, the 270 is $5,625. The 250i is $3,995. So it's quite a good uh, price range difference there. And they're going to be delivered this month. They're shipping the, at, before the end of this month. All right, awesome. Now, also, we found just by chance when we were coming over here that you have a another audio recorder that uh, I'd like you to talk about, um, the, nine, the nine, 970, right? Okay, well, as you can see, it looks very similar to our video decks, the 250i and the 270i. They share a lot of common technology, but what we did is we wanted to make an audio-only recorder, so we took all the video ins and outs off of it. Otherwise, it's pretty much identical to the 270. You have... 64 channels of Maddie in and out, 64 channels of Dante in and out, you have eight channels of line in and out, eight channels of AES in and out. It goes on and on. I think we worked out, had about 160 audio inputs and 160 audio outputs and 64 record tracks. So it's hugely powerful. It's got all the time code synchronization requirements you need. It has RS-422. It records to four drives still. So you've got those instant backups and instant deliverables. It's got remote control via the inbuilt web server. Um, it's got USB keyboard for entering metadata and stuff. So it's a very versatile tool. And this, again, is available this month. And what's the price point on the 970? 4495 So it, actually, it would make a great uh, um, virtual sound check machine, really. The one step, just play it back, be very awesome. All right, so if people want more information on this, oh, what is the website? www.sounddevices.com. This is totally stuff that you should go check out. We really like it. Of course, Sound Devices stuff is built like a tank. They have an amazing reputation. If you haven't ever heard about it, they're big in film, big in television. But now they're really starting to uh, make inroads in the church market. And it's really, good, it's really, really good stuff. So thank you very much. Thank you.